the most interesting thing to me was, was uh, the process that that president undertook on all his decisions. Um, he was a president that listened. Uh, he was a president I could um, discuss things with, sometimes not agreeing with him, uh, but, but certainly someone who solicited your opinions and tried to find uh, uh, all the views before he firmed up and solidified his decision. So for me, um, it was an experience that I call one of the, the most fun I ever had in my whole life. It was a wonderful time to be chief of staff. Uh, a, the world was changing before our eyes on a daily basis. The Soviet Union was collapsing, uh, driven primarily by the astute uh, leadership of George Herbert Walker Bush. And, and uh, uh, it was fascinating, it was fun. And certainly for me, um, one of the highlights that uh, I constantly look back on. I'm going to open up by saying, first of all, you don't apply to be the president's chief of staff. <laughs> and it's not like the president goes to monster.com or zip recruiter uh, to find a chief of staff. And so I was shocked when I was invited to be the president's chief of staff, George W. Bush, uh, when he was asking me to be his chief of staff, I thought he was asking me to run his transition into government. And it happened to be a Thursday morning before election day in 2000. And I was, he had asked me to do some things and he, I had breakfast with him and he said, so are you ready to do this? And I said, if you want me to be running your transition, I'd be glad to do it. And he said, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the big one. That was the term he used. I knew what he meant. It was chief of staff. Uh, election night came and didn't go away. <laughs> and the next morning, he formally asked me to be his chief of staff, and I was flattered. I think he asked me to be his chief of staff because I had served under every chief of staff that served Ronald Reagan and George H.W. Bush. 